welcome back to another Raw Squad Retro Review of The Walking Dead. Um, sorry, but I wasn't here the last time we did a review. I was sick, so now I'm back. Chet isn't here right now, you know, because he had to go rewatch the rest of season two because he's thinking that Shane is still around. I don't know why. But anyway, we're up to season six. So I keep trying to tell him it's season, season six. five. Episode season five, six. Episode six. There you go. Season five, episode six. You see, now he messed up my head, you know, with his confusion <laughs> on the last episode. See, that's what happens when somebody's sick and he has to take over. I don't know. Yeah, see that? But anyway, we're we're going to talk about it. So Daryl and Carol mash up. What do you yes. think? I liked it. Um, They show the emotion and stuff that Carol's going through right now. I mean, she must be going through a lot because she was suffering. She's feeling guilt about what she did to the two people that she killed. The two girls, Lizzie and Nika. And the, the other two season. people. The other two people that she oh, killed. Oh, yeah. Them. Also, when she killed Tyrese's girlfriend and the other guy. Yeah, so she's going through so. a lot. I feel kind of bad for her. But now she looks like she's starting to open up. So maybe yeah, she won't Carol, feel as guilty. Yeah, Carol seemed to have a lot of demons in this episode. So it was kind of deep for my take. I mean, it was a little emotional on her part. Being that girl has done so much since... Her first She has become like a heroine right now. I mean, she changed so much from season one. Now she's in season five, and she's like a badass now. She is. She's she's, she's become so much of a transformation. It's like she's oh my become God. somewhat of a group. To this group, she's become so efficient to Rick right now. And right I mean, now, they're in the process of trying to get Beth. Yeah, this episode was basically featuring Daryl and Carol trying to be on their own mission to rescue Beth. Because as we know, Beth was captured by some random police people. We don't even know who the hell they are, honestly. They're not even in the comics. My favorite part was when they came back to Atlanta and they looked totally different from Yeah, Atlanta was destroyed. I it mean, looked we had, so different. Yeah, the area was completely black and there was, it, it just looked like there was a lot of bombs. A lot like of turmoil bombed, there. It a bombed lot the city pretty much. And, there was a hell of a lot of walkers there as usual, but you know, this it was kind of cool the way they had this because Daryl and Carol were in spy mode. They were just stealthing the entire time, chasing after the other group, so it was pretty cool. And they met the other kid that escaped. So yeah, Noah shows up too, and uh, looks like Noah kind of robbed Daryl, which was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, but Daryl got him back for that, so yeah, he yeah. let a walker fall on him, so that was like payback. Yeah, right he, there. he was pretty much like acting like he was going to kill him, but it was cool because it looks like Noah's officially joining the group now. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Carol gets hit by a car. Yeah, they Carol, bring her in, so let's see what's gonna happen. Carol gets hit by a car, so she got taken by the same group that took Beth. So I don't know if Carol is pulling these people or if she actually is hurt. It didn't look like she got hit by that car too hard. Though. No, it doesn't. Honestly, it doesn't look like she's like she's gonna die. That's the sad reason see. is there's only two more episodes left, so stay tuned. Yeah, it's mid-season finale is coming up, so we'll see what happens. See ya. We're Stay tuned for next time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we have a visitor. <gasps> Who is that? Oh, brother. Why does he have to push his head in there? Got even nothing to do with Sonic. Where's Rick and, and Daryl and Carol and all? 